seeing my kindergartner how much he loves his teacher. It built my confidence a lot. I think there is a culture of communication. What I find the biggest difference here from public school is that teachers can really individualize to students and pull out different techniques. Diversity here is certainly uh, better than any private school in the, in the Charleston area. Uh, so that's a big and important piece for us. I think in public schools, your children can get lost. And here at Charleston Collegiate, there's no child that is not an individual. They take more interest, I think, in how students are doing um, than a lot of the other schools I went to. Part of the philosophy here at Charleston Collegiate is that learning should be actually fun. One way we do this is with great teachers. We have a faculty, almost 80% of whom have master's degrees or PhDs, advanced degrees of some sort. And uh, those teachers with that depth of knowledge really can make things fun. When we get an off-the-wall question in class, we can run with it. We can tie it back into the classroom discussion that day. And a lot of times that off-the-wall question is intellectual curiosity. And uh, we need to follow that these days and keep our students interested in what we're doing in the classroom. Hello, my name is Jody Haney. I am the preschool teacher here at Charleston Collegiate School. I have my Master's of Arts degree. My name is William O'Donnell. I uh, have a degree from the Savannah College of Art and Design. I'm Patricia Conroy. I teach fourth grade and I have a Master's in Childhood Education. My name is Ed Lenahan. I teach 10th and 11th grade History and English and I have a Master's degree in English Literature. My name is Leticia Sowers. I teach Lower Middle School Physical Education and Health. I have a Bachelor of Science in Physical Education. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I teach middle school history and I have a Master's in Teaching and Social Studies. My name is Kathleen Adrians and I teach first grade all subjects. My name is Gretchen Batalis and I'm the head of the middle school and the head of the World Language Department. And I also wear the hat of being a Spanish teacher. Our approach is to do as much hands-on actual creation as we can. And that goes on all levels from kindergarten, K-4, right through the 12th grade. You can really feel it with the teachers. You can tell that they're happy to be here. They were always very good at showing you why you're doing what you're doing in class and applying it to everyday life. The teachers actually take their time to um, make sure that you understand what we're working on. It's definitely a 21st century curriculum. Uh, focuses on the right brain, critical thinking, creativity, personal skills, uh, as well as traditional education elements. We still read the Odyssey. We still memorize our times tables, but in the classroom we tend to do things a little bit differently. Uh, definitely a hands-on classroom, much more student-centered than teacher-centered. Making sure that students can go out in the world and, and be successful. Uh, Dr. Shirley is, is, is wonderful. I think he's a progressive. He's on cutting edge of, of, of where education needs to be um, and how we're going to to, to, to deal with this new generation and how we're going to educate them. I, I think he's a brilliant man. and I think he has a lot to offer to our kids. I believe in having each student perform to the maximum ability uh, that they can muster. And I believe in uh, holding uh, high standards for their accomplishments. And I believe in being outside of the box. You think that if you defeat an enemy, you have to absolutely defeat that enemy? The expectation is that we're not just preaching at our students, we're not just talking to our students, but that we teach whatever our subject matter may be in a way that the students are investigating and the students are learning rather than being taught. This bone is attached to two different kinds of joints. Is she right? Yes. yes. Good. We had to make this big pyramid and inside you had to see um, like what's inside of a pyramid at their time, you know. The senior exhibition product, project opened my eyes the most because I realized how much work it was going to take and how much time and how much effort because it is a year-long project for every senior. Their whole class did a um, had to pick a organization, a charity, a nonprofit, a nonprofit, and create it from scratch. Figure out how they were going to do the marketing, where their money was going to come from, and do presentations. One other thing that we really value here is is getting students out of the classroom and into nature. Uh, we want them to know where they are in the world and 
be plugged into their immediate surroundings and be part of uh, discussions about not only uh, what's happening in America these days, but what's happening with their more immediate community. Charleston Collegiate is a great school for its diversity of students, not only in their needs, but their interests and hobbies. I think the diversity here at the school is remarkable. The real world is filled with multiple different people, so why not be around other groups of people that you might not otherwise be around? Mixing races is tremendously important. What you end up with is a better society because those people know each other and they grow accustomed to each other. This is my buddy. I still have best friends that I graduated with. I think just the classes because they're so small. I had friends who were two years younger than me, two years older than me. We really have students from all different walks of life here at the school. We have all different ethnicities, all different religions, all different socioeconomic status, all different learning styles uh, working as a group and I think that they come away from this school understanding how the real world works. Lots of students have lots of different learning styles and we're able to accommodate that here and show that not everyone learns the same way and that everyone can be successful. We find that Charleston Collegiate is taking on how Gabrielle learns and coming up with a prescription for her that works and making sure that she's successful. If people believe in them and if they be learn to believe in themselves, they can become good students. And that means you have to celebrate somebody's art somebody's musical talent, somebody's dramatic talent, their athletic ability, their ability to write a poem, their ability to, uh, to write a good essay, their ability to do math problems that nobody else can do. Everybody has something that we can celebrate and that's what we have to do. I walked into the doors, I felt the warmth and the compassion and um, I knew immediately that this was where I wanted to put my children. And she really did take a personal interest as well as all the other teachers here. Um, made sure that I didn't slip through the cracks. I couldn't imagine our children being any better than they are right now. They're so well-rounded. I just believe that the school is growing and it's going to continue to grow. I love it here. I love it. All the kids here are very nice and teachers are very nice. It's just a good environment overall. This school could be a significant small school, much in the model of a New England school, much in the model of a progressive school, and much needed in Charleston. Charleston Collegiate isn't just part of the community, it really is the community. And it's all different walks of life. It's you know blacks, Hispanics, Caucasians, Chinese, Indian, Russian, Polish students, uh, all coming together. If you're looking for diversity, if you're looking for a, a holistic approach on your children, if you're looking for academic excellence, um, this is the place I think to, to, to bring them to. Our most important job is the education of our children, so we feel we're giving them the best opportunities possible by attending Charleston Collegiate School.